Hello boat fans, this is Tim from Boatshed Brighton and I'm really glad you could join me for a quick tour of the upper deck of this great looking naughty cat for sale with us and we'll start at the stern. As you can see we've got this fantastic stern deck, loads of room for sunbeds, chairs, barbecue etc etc, loads of room, deck looks nice from where I'm standing and uh, yeah you've got the added protection of the, the dodgers that uh, go all the way around the outside got the garden gate at the back with access to the two davits from whence you may hang your dinghy. Uh, if I'm just looking down now you can see the um, anchor locker and let's have a quick close-up of this deck because it does look absolutely lovely but we need a surveyor to uh, talk about it in detail but uh, as you can see it's just been recently worked on and uh, actually looks really rather lovely. So let's look up very slightly and as you can see we've got the helm position so on a nice sunny day you'll be out here steering from here we've got the port and starboard sheet winches on the coach roof or the pilot house roof up here we've got lots of room for stowage etc so if you're on a long trip there's uh, room for bits and pieces up there but don't forget the stability um, i have seen other naughty cats of this type with solar panels up here as well so that's a uh, rather nice idea too and of course we've got this lovely great big sliding hatch which is going to bring the outdoors in on those lovely days now let's look down again a little bit and we'll see the controls for the newly fitted bow thruster which is fantastic because on a boat of this type with a long keel going astern can sometimes be a challenge but with a bow thruster that suddenly becomes a lot easier we've got the controls for the engine there and as i mentioned before the, the starboard winch really really rather lovely here and as you can see you can see down into the wheelhouse there so a really great view from outside in and inside out and what i'll do is i'll just go for a quick look at the stern deck from the forward end on the starboard side yeah really great uncluttered space very nice place to spend some time lovely right now let's move along the starboard side and i'll just take two steps down to the starboard waist past the sliding door just excuse me while I just move the ladder out of the way without dropping it there we go and we make our way to the fore deck and we'll just quickly look at the coach roof first again we've got the teak all over it it does look very very nice and we've got the hatch to the accommodation down below stowage for a life raft there and I'll move along the starboard side let's get a close-up of the deck as I move forwards just to give you a really good idea of her condition and I'll just zoom away there for a look at her upper deck or the, sorry her foredeck which as you can see again very nice and uncluttered and we've got the whacking great big windlass there which is electric which is absolutely lovely so you can raise and lower your windlass to your heart's content and we've got the anchor locker forward of that so that you can see where your chain is and how it might be sitting etc so let's just turn around and look along the length of her coach roof as you can see she does look nice and tidy she looks a bit empty because she's just had a lot of work done on her so a lot of equipment isn't on her at the moment you'll see the the sails aren't bent on um, i think the running rigging could do with the tension on this boat a lot of it some of it may come back with a bit of a wash some of it may need renewing and let's go back aft again along this deck so there's the uh, port waste for you just go past the windows which as you can see looks like a bit of delamination a bit of crazing there so that might be something you want to think about it's a close-up on the coach roof decking and that hatch again a bit of delamination there and the windows for the helm interior position and we'll finish off by going back along the port waste back to the aft deck so if you like the look of this boat or if you'd like any more information just go to Berkshire Brighton for lots more pictures videos and virtual reality thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day